hi there welcome to my july budget video i'm just gonna go ahead here and label my page as july budget go figure so this month i'm really trying to get back on track with my budgeting i kind of fell off the wagon um so i'm gonna try really really hard to stick to this budget and hope that nothing goes awry Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fill out my income information for July. Unfortunately, I'm not a lucky duck who will be getting three paychecks this month. So this month's income will be the standard $2,002. I'm also listing out when my paychecks come in and that will be on July 10th. And my second paycheck will be on July, let's find out. July 24th. All right, next I'm going to go into my four walls, which if you don't know, your four walls are your shelter, your transportation, your groceries, and your utilities. All right, so starting off with labeling what my rent is going to be. My rent is $580. I split it 50-50 with my boyfriend. Next, going into utilities being trash, sewer, gas, water. Those utilities are going to be $62.75 for this month. Our SMUD, which is our electricity, I put it separate just since it's a it's billed separately. That's going to be $32.30 for my half. Next, I'm going into my car insurance, which is the same every month. My car insurance is $110. And the amount of gas that I'm spending this month, I've been giving myself about $50. Most of that gets reimbursed next month through work. So I just need to have it out of pocket to spend this month, if that makes sense. Also, my cell phone is $90 per month. I still need to pay the actual phone itself off, but that is just not a priority for me right now. My student loans are a priority. And my phone insurance is $10.99 per month through um, Square Trade, I want to say. My groceries, I'm going to try really hard to stick to $125 max. We have some um, bulk items from Costco we need to stock up on, so that's why I'm giving myself the $125 rather than just a flat $100. And my total that's going to be spent on my four walls this month is $1,011.04. Now I'm going into other. I count other as um, just things that aren't a part of four walls, my four walls or um, just unexpected. Well, not unexpected, but like planned expenses that aren't a part of other months. So first, my Apple Music, which is $4.99 per month. Still get the student discount. Yay, yay. Even though I'm not a student. I just have my student email. So shh, don't tell anyone. I also need to get an oil change this month. So that'll be $20. Um, I buy my oil and I buy the filter. And then I'm just going to bring it. So I need 20 for the, I need 10 for the, for the filter and 10 for the labor. Um, birthdays. My boyfriend has four sisters and they're all born in July. Fantastic. So my half of their presents is going to be about $25. So my total for other costs will be roughly $50 for July. Now I'm going to go straight into my debt snowball. It's going to be a pretty simple one this month. So for Mohila, I only have about $1,400 left. To pay them and I'm going to try really really hard to pay them $940 this month I should be able to do that there should be no reason why I can't do that and for Ed financial my parent plus loans I'm going to be paying zero on those because I'm trying to get the debt in my name out of here as soon as possible and um, also those qualify for the zero interest and the um, forbearance right now. So I don't have to pay on them. Sorry, my neighbor's kids are extremely loud. So I'm just going in here and I'm highlighting some of the important things that I want to be able to see quickly at a glance. And I'm also going to be going in here and adding a little bit of color. Like I said, I, I fell off the wagon because budgeting was just starting to look so daunting and intimidating. So I think that this might make it more likely for me to look at it if I know that I had fun making it. Does that make sense? Is anyone else like that? Um, one thing I also want to go into right now is um, with the student loan forbearance and 0% interest, some people have been talking about the interest 
from the forbearance being added on to their principal balance being capitalized at the end of the forbearance and I want everyone to know that that's not going to happen unless there is a particular reason why your interest would be capitalized on like you're coming out of a deferment not a forbearance um, just wanted to say that so I've freaked out myself and I've seen a ton of other people freaking out at other saying that I'm also going in here and I'm highlighting things that I want to pay attention to in my budget. So my groceries as well as my birthday budget for my boyfriend's siblings. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe and all of that jazz. And I will see you next time.